Hi everyone, let's begin one very important concept in EViews Granger causality test. Granger causality test basically we are applying when we want to know in regression equation whether this variable is giving cause to that particular dependent variable and there is effect by this independent variable or vice versa. So the Granger causality test is a statistical hypothesis test for determining whether one time series is useful in forecasting another. And that could be always applicable when time lag is there. That is why we would be able to apply it. And Granger causality is a way to investigate causality between two variables in a time series. The method is a probabilistic amount of causality. It uses empirical data set to find patterns of correlation. And here is Granger defined the causality relationship. Granger, who is Granger? Granger is an uh, a econometrician who had given this concept, Granger causality test. So, Granger defined the causality relationship based on two principles. The cause happens prior to its effect and the cause has unique information about the future values of its effect. So, I'm going to discuss one by one all these things. So, frame winner hypothesis and alternate hypothesis, like for example, in our case, we are going to take a, taking yt does not Granger cause xt minus 1. That is our assumption. This is our null hypothesis we are talking about. And after this, what are the steps? Then after that, choose the legs. We have to choose any leg. Here is, this is the important ad hoc. I just want to just say ad hoc selection method for leg is more reliable as compared to other methods in Granger causality test as per Johns 1989. So we will take ad hoc selection method and here is find the F value and calculate the F statistics and reject the null hypothesis. The P value is less than 0 0.05 and vice versa. If the P value is greater than 0 0.05 at that time we will here is we will accept null hypothesis or we can say we have failed to reject null hypothesis. So here is we I'm going to discuss wall coefficient restrictions also and as well as this is the one equation we have taken. Now we I would like to run this Granger causality test in my eViews. So let's check eViews. This is the eViews I had opened and I had opened one file. And this file we have taken into consideration FDI and GDP. These are my two independent variables. Let me increase my size. Yes, now we can see I had opened this file. And this is in this file, the same file I'm going to use where I had explained to you multicollinearity. And in this file, I have taken these two um, uh, variables taken into consideration. Number one is FDI, another one is GDP. And after that, I have how I have reached on these results. I mean, this is the Granger causality test. Let me just, 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 uh, I'm just, just closing this, this particular window. No, delete entirely. Yes, I just want to delete this. And after that, again, I just want to show this. And uh, here is, I would select this particular, these two variables, FDI and GDP. And I'm just going to open these as a group. And now you can see this is as a group we had opened. Now we will go to view and after that, Granger causality test and lag we are going to discuss ad hoc lag uh, I was talking about. So we have taken one. And after that, you can see this, these are the results. And what, how we can interpret these results? GDP does not Granger cause FDI, right? That means this hypothesis is accepted. Why it is accepted? Because P value, you can see that is greater than 0 0.05. It's 0 0.6. So here is, we can say GDP does not Granger cause FDI. But another hypothesis, FDI does not Granger cause GDP. It is, we are rejecting this hypothesis. Why? Because P value that is greater than 0 0.0, that is less than 0 
fine. That is why we can say. So it means we can say FDI cause, FDI Granger cause GDP. That means due to FDI, there is effect on GDP. If there is more FDI in our country, that means GDP is increasing and that would be increasing GDP is uh, uh, increasing. It is not because of this, but in the, in, the, in, the, in the previous case, we can say GDP does not Granger cause FDI, means we can say GDP does not Granger cause FDI, means there is no effect, right, on FDI. So, uh, I hope this video would be helpful to you and uh, keep watching and stay tuned. Thank you. Keep watching.